So last night, Sunday, March 10th, was the Oscars. I don't know which one it was. Who cares? Um, Because every year, as an aspiring filmmaker, I'm called to watch the Oscars, but I get depressed around the Oscars. Um, Because growing up as an athlete, you aspire to win the championship. So, of course, trying to be a great filmmaker, you measure your success to this award. You see wonderful people win these Oscars and give these great speeches, and they're inspiring. The Oscars are inspiring but I don't think it's something that you should aspire to because you don't have any control over whether or not you win the award. And I guess that's the beautiful thing about this night is that people are praised and accepted and loved for their work. And I guess as artists, we all want that. For the most of us though, we don't make it to the Oscars or the Grammys, Emmys or Tonys. We don't get these awards. And so as we sit in our on our couches and watch and aspire to hopefully be there it always kind of does at least for me bring me down a little bit because we're not there so i get a bit depressed and i almost uh don't watch but this time i turned it on and yeah same thing happened i got both inspired and depressed while watching the speeches and watching the awards thinking i'll never be there um but then the best thing ever happened. And that was Ryan Gosling performing I'm Just Ken, written by Mark Ronson and Andrew Wyatt. There were many great things that happened in that performance, but I wanted to kind of go through and talk about why Ryan Gosling was the real winner at the Oscars, even though he got snubbed. He didn't. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. was great. And then, of course, uh, Billie Eilish's song was great as well. So, And I don't think Ryan would have even accepted the award for that. I think it would have been Mark Ronson and and Andrew Wyatt. But there's just a couple moments that happened in this performance that remind me why I wanted to be a filmmaker. So like first it like opens up with Ryan with the black hat on and he's like serenading Barbie and then he turns around and he puts the hat on his sister who he came with. And that's just a small subtle moment that immortalizes their relationship and honors that forever. And he does that throughout this performance, whether it's with the musicians. Not that Barbie needed any more recognition. That movie basically saved movies. Uh, it, you know, it didn't win the Oscar for Best Picture, and Greta was snubbed to not be nominated as Best Director. But they have this moment where he goes down and he has Greta, Margot, and America Ferreira sing with him. And that's just special. It's just a special way to honor their relationship with them, the movie they made, the wonderful film that this was for just the world and just the industry. And then there's this moment, which is personally my favorite, um, because um, La La Land is something that really inspired me to get into films. And he goes and he sings with Emma. He gives the mic to Emma Stone for a minute. And uh, I just want to stop and say I just saw this great, thing this great I guess it's a meme that was made that was like la la land life imitating art where he succeeded in music and Emma Stone succeeded in acting yeah I guess the point of this is it reminded me that the awards don't really mean shit of course you aspire to be there and I loved when everything everywhere all at once won And the two young directors were like, this is not something, this is not healthy, this is not something you should aspire to. You know, of course, it's great to get your work recognized. But what I love about Ryan Gosling here, and what you can see through the whole crowd, and just the way the internet's reacted, is that people love Ryan for who he is. He's unafraid to be goofy. He's unafraid to be himself. And I think that is more of an award, to be yourself like this. You know, we don't have control over who accepts our work or who accepts us but at the end of the day I think that it doesn't matter whether the art connects or whether your art gets the love it deserves I think in my opinion I'd like to think that it matters more if you have that connection and if people accept you um, you know if they don't screw it whatever you know keep living your life find the people who who you love but I think this moment was really special because it just reminded me what's so great about the movies.